What's up guys? Welcome back to Quick Fix and in this video I'm going to show you how to do port forwarding on a Hitron modem. I'm using a Coda 4680 and this is primarily for anyone doing port forwarding on a double NAT where you're getting an error that says local IP not local address or whatever but we'll get into that. Let's start by going over to the basics tab and we want to go to port forwarding and you can see here, I already have two rules applied, but we're just going to use the Plex as an example. We're going to go to add rule and we're going to keep common application as just services. We're going to call this Plex. We're going to say TCP UDP. And for this example, we're going to use the ports 32405. 32400 is Plex's default port range that you can use. And private range will be the same. Now here's where the problem is. A lot of you will type in the server address, so the actual computer. And in this case, we'll say for my server, it's 192.168.1.43. I don't think I have a 43 even on my network yet, but you'll get this error. Local IP isn't LAN, I, isn't LAN IP address subnet. And you're getting this because the Hitron is not asking you for the computer's address. It's asking you for the router you have attached to the Hitron, and that's what it's asking for. And to kind of give you a more concrete visual of this, if we go into my router, you can see here that the Hitron has assigned a WAN IP to my router. This is 192.168.0.12. And some people may be asking, why aren't you working with this in bridge mode? There was a whole issue with the Hitron. This is the only way we could get it to work moving on. So we're not looking for the computer. We're looking for the mode for the router. So we're going to do 0 0.12. And now when I click the error goes away and that's it. That's how you do port forwarding in a double NAT situation with the Hitron Coda 4680 modem. It might work with your other modems. If you're using double NAT, I'm not too sure. If you have any questions though, hey, let me know. If this helped you, also let me know. It really makes me feel good to know that these simple videos really do help people. And once you click apply, you are all good to go as long as you have the port forward set up on the router itself. But that's a video for another time. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Hit that sub button if you can. And other than that, I'll see you all on the next quick fix. Bye.